Arsenal fans don't need reminding that this has not been a happy hunting ground of late. In fact, they've lost their last five straight visits to Chelsea, their last win coming back in the 2011-2012 season. Van Persie with that hat-trick in the 5-3 win. Craig, Arsenal have not been very good. Yes, they got the win yesterday in the Europa League. They've beaten Bournemouth, but looking into this match, it's very difficult to give them much hope, isn't it? Well, Bournemouth fell in the lap, didn't they? And uh, they took full advantage in the end. But uh, last year's FA Cup final apart, where Arsenal did play well, uh, there's been no signs early in this season uh, that, that they're going to be able to cope with Chelsea in key areas, the midfield. How are they going to cope with Chelsea's midfield, with that dynamic midfield? How are they going to cope with the wide players and the pace? How are you going to cope with the guile uh, and the movement if, if whoever plays in behind uh, Alvaro Morata? And then there's a back three, if he does go with a back three, Arsene Wenger. I just don't, I don't think there's any Arsenal fan can say, oh, I'm really comfortable with those three <laughs> players. This looks like a rock-solid defence. I just don't see how they cope with Chelsea's big players at the weekend. Rob, I suppose the big selection question going into this for Arsene Wenger is what do you do with Alexis Sanchez? Of course, played on Thursday in the Europa League against Klein, scored that great goal as well. But will he start on Sunday as well? I don't think he will. I think from the comments Arsene Wenger made after the game and before the game that he was saying that Alexis Sanchez hasn't fully re recovered. I'm not sure where he's meant to recover from, but he's not fully fit. Uh, he, that's why it was more surprising why he played against Liverpool when that was three weeks ago when he certainly wasn't fit and he wanted to move away from Arsenal. So I don't think he'll play. He might be uh, a substitute, might come on for the last 20 minutes and try, try and change the game if, if Arsenal aren't playing particularly well. But I don't think he'll start the game. Robert, this makes no sense whatsoever, does it? You play Alexis Sanchez in a rubbish Europa League match, yet then he's not ready to play against Chelsea in the Premier League. Uh, well, I think it's things that we expect from Arsene Wenger now. Remember, he bought Lacazette for lots of money and then didn't play him against Liverpool. Sanchez, who we're talking about now, wasn't fully fit and he played him in that game against Liverpool and had to take him off because he wasn't playing particularly well. You know, he's their best player. Whether he's wanted to get away to Manchester yeah. City or wherever he wanted to go to, Alexis Sanchez is Arsenal's best player and has been for the last couple of years. And if he's fit, he has to play because he's the player that can change the game for them. It must make a difference as well, Shaka, for your teammates as well. If you've got Alexis Sanchez on the pitch, it surely lifts you and the fans as well. Even so, even, even as, as good as, well, relatively as Lacazette has been compared to everybody else, uh, for, for me, Alexis Sanchez is still the best player on, on that roster and played 90 minutes against a, a very poor Cologne team, scored in the end, and you, you saw his quality, um, but, but didn't really offer a, a whole lot more else. I mean, in all honesty, Arsenal did, Arsenal Wenger made nine changes. It's just hard to try to figure out what Arsene Wenger is thinking, what he's doing, how he's going to approach this game, because so far, nothing seems to make sense, and not a lot has worked. It's not even up for debate who Arsenal's best player is. Yeah. Right? Lacazette coming in, might be somewhere down the line if he bangs the goals in, could, could take that mantle. The reports are that Ozil's more or less made his mind up he's going to leave, but let's be honest, in the bigger games, more often than not, he's been a waste of time. <laughs> but what's the point staving off Manchester City or any other club? What is the point staving them off and say, no, we're not selling because we don't think the money's right or we can't get another player in, and then not play the guy. Mm. Well, what's the point? What is the point of him playing, say, 50% of the games this year, if that's where it is? You've got to get him fit, get him up to speed, and get him in, in the big games as soon as possible. And if that's not the case, they should have taken the 70 million from Man City and moved on. Robbo, you mentioned the fact, obviously, like I said, didn't play or didn't start in that match against Liverpool. Surely, there's no way that he's not going to be in that starting 11 against Chelsea. No, I think he's probably going to go with the same team that played against Bournemouth in, in terms of the front players. Urza will play on the right-hand side. Lacazette will play through the middle. And Danny Welbeck, who scored a couple of goals in that game, will probably play on the left-hand side. And then it will play with two wing-backs. The one position I would change is Kalazinak. I would play as centre-half, the left-sided centre-half. And I'd get Monreal out of the back three and put him as the left wing-back. But uh, I'm not sure Wenger will do that. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't quite see this Monreal left-sided wing-back, uh, sorry, left-sided centre-back working. In fact, the back three in general, I mean, Koscielny's not a bad footballer, right? He's an experienced international player. But trying to hold the two centre-halves next to him that are playing beside him, if that's the case, uh, with holding as it was, and Monreal is a difficult task because you end up getting dragged out of position yourself. But I'm with Robbo here. I don't see... Uh, I don't see Monreal staying in that position for long because I think it's unnatural for him and I think you can play down the little channels that, and the holes that he leaves.